up guys finally got the new rims and tires on my GT350 and I haven't been driving this car a lot in the last three months but now getting back into it the last few days I love it even more so I'm actually gonna pull over and show you guys some visuals of the new wheels on the car and show you some clearances between the caliper and everything else so give me a minute I'm gonna pull over and we'll get the camera outside and we'll show you how awesome it looks I'm finally happy with this set of rims on the car because they're not like a replica R uh, and I just have more clearance the offsets are perfect I got the P4S tires which is what I wanted and I regained and kept the same ground clearance by going up to a 20 so if I went to a 19 with the smaller profile tire that was gonna be an issue for me for the roads that I drive on so all right guys just pull the camera out of the car got a close-up of the front wheel assembly now why did I go 20 inch versus 19s really it was tire selection tire selection and the fact that the car is lowered so the P4S's do not come in the OEM tire sizes I've had multiple sets on this car with the 305 30s in the front and 325 30s in the rear they look good they work good the problem is it drops the ride height about if one full inch I already lower the car one full inch now that's two inches lower than stock in New York that's a bad situation so by going with 20s and by going with a 295 30 20 and a 305 30 20 I retained the overall OEM ride height okay by using those tires I also retained the OEM section width so we have a 20 by 11 all the way around the proper offset there's no stick out and poke on the rear and I just absolutely love it now as far as caliper clearance and wheel clearance another reason I did 20s too is because I like to clean the inside of the barrels now with the 19s there's limited clearance to get your tools so between this section and this section where the caliper overhang is you really have to roll the car back when you're doing a detail to get back in there and clean so you just can't get the, the, the brushes in there so I'll show you quick all right so look as far as caliper clearance I got my entire hand and I could go in between the spoke and the caliper there's perfect clearance there's no issues there that's that tends to be an issue with a lot of the rotary Ford stuff in the market now as far as getting in to clean the barrels let me show you here I could also get my hand completely in there and any kind of wheel woolies or brushes or whatever I want to do and I could do my rim detailing relatively easily and now that, that was another prerequisite of doing this entire upgrade aside from going lighter going stronger having uh, a different design than an R replica which I was really tired of that and you know everywhere I was going I mean like the last set of rims I had they really did look like the carbon fiber wheels and I didn't want people to think they were carbon fiber wheels so that was just like you know what I got to do something I got to just do something custom and I love these wheels believe it or not visually if any of you guys out there are BMW fans uh, for a long time this split five spoke design is very reminiscent of AC Schnitzer AC Schnitzer was a BMW tuner that I used to import and use a lot of their products over the years and they had the iconic split five spoke and then a solid five spoke very similar to this profile and cut if you go back and uh, do some Google images on that you'll probably see some of the resemblance between this style and I'll be honest with you I bet you uh, whoever designed this wheel probably really took some of those design elements from those wheels because they were iconic they were some of my favorite wheels on the old school BMWs from the 90s and the early 2000s so as you can see clearance is not an issue the wheels uh, go to my other video the quality is superb and uh, let me just grab the camera and I'll give you a quick right, walk. So guys I got the camera on the tripod you guys can see the stance it looks freaking perfect it's got the right amount of drop it's got the right offset there's no stretch of the tires uh, the gloss black complements the gloss black on the side mirrors on the trunk spoiler and everything else I was actually gonna go with a multi-piece with the polished or chromed outer lip and then I kind of decided against it just because I didn't think it was really gonna be the look I was going for on this car so here's a side profile shot you guys could see it's got just enough rake it's got the right right stance and I think it looks freaking killer all right guys got the camera in my hand you guys could see the visual and you could also check out the offsets now I do have some negative camera dialed in on the front because the car is lowered but the offsets are spot-on let's go back to the rear and this is what bothered me with a lot of the 
rotary forge wheels in the market is that they used to stick out. Problem with that is it kicks up too many rocks around here in New York and I wasn't having it. I had to have a proper offset and they got these things exactly how I wanted them. So the car looks freaking amazing. I'm really happy with it. It was a long time coming. I, this is rim number, rim and tire set number seven on this car in about a year and a half because I kept changing things. I wasn't really sure what I wanted. Uh, and I gave these guys signature wheels a shot and I gotta tell you, I'm, I'm super impressed. The quality is outstanding. The finish is outstanding. The offsets are perfect. The communication was perfect. These guys are pretty big in the GT350 market right now. You guys could go on their social media feeds. Guys are tracking and flogging these cars all over the freaking place. And uh, you know, that's just a good way to put your product to the test as far as durability and quality control. But uh, like I said, the Rotary Forge stuff, you're limited with offsets. Um, you're also limited to tires. If you use the OEM tires with some of those more aggressive R plus fitments, it just stretches the crap out of the tire and I just can't stand the way that looks. Yeah, car looks freaking mean right now, man. So, super happy with it. Hope you guys uh, like this set of rims. Post your comments below. But uh, like I said, it's my car, my money, my choice. Uh, no reason to uh, get defensive on what I put on my car because I don't really, you know, make comments about what other people do to their cars. You know, it's, it's part of your own individuality and personalization of cars. I've been doing it my entire life and uh, I enjoy doing it. To me, this is, you know, this is not only part of my business, it's part of my, my passion and who I am. Every single car I've ever owned has been modified over and over and over again just because, you know, you're kind of like on the quest to make it exactly how you want it. Get a close up inside that caliper. You can see that, you can see all the clearance. So I hope you guys like the visual of my GT350 race red with the signature SV701's gloss black, 20 by 11, all four corners, proper offset, Michelin Pilot P4S, 295's front, 305's in the rear. It looks awesome, feels awesome, quality is there. Uh, signature wheels, very good company to deal with. I highly recommend them if anybody's looking for wheels for your S550 Mustang or Shelby or even any other car. Uh, there's a good chance you're going to see a set of those wheels on my Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio real soon. So, see you guys soon. Autofanatic at yahoo.com. Go to my website, auto-fanatic.com. And stay tuned for more automotive content on the channel. Take care, guys.